I'm Coben from Coben's Domain and what you're looking at in front of you and well in front of the screen for you guys looking at on YouTube is basically a cube box running um, Ubuntu 10.04 yes um, the cube box is a little embedded computer that has a HDMI port and they pretty much will be available from Coben's Domain there it is right there even comes with an LED to tell you it's working and all that jazz. Pretty awesome. Um, 800 megahertz CPU, 1 gig of RAM, all that jazz. Pretty damn awesome. Um, okay, so at the moment I'm trying to get Minecraft to work. Well, it does work, but um, there's, well, compatibility issues because Minecraft isn't really designed for um, the ARM processors. I know you can, now you, people will probably correct me and say, oh, but you can get Minecraft on Android. That's a different type of um, Android. That's more optimized for pocket devices. Whereas um, this version of Minecraft is just a generic, you know, um, one you can download off the Minecraft website after you paid for it and run that way. As you'll see, it misses out on a, on a library, which means that it can't render any 3D. So, uh, with, uh, with, yeah, so let's get going. Um, just grab my mouse. You'll notice that this is on a 1080p screen. I wanted to re do a smaller resolution so the box wasn't freaked out, but um, driver issues or some crap. But, um, yeah, so pretty much, um, yeah, do you want to run or display contents? Display it, run in the terminal. Um, I'm more a debugging person myself. I don't really like um, Ubuntu all that much, but I mean, I've got to use what I've got to use. So, so there you go. You get a screen. You'll notice that it's can't find the update server since I've um, disabled it, and also that parts of the screen are actually chopped off because op op uh, overscan is disabled. I've got to sort that out. It's just annoying. Over there, we've got our um, username and password, so I've already pre-filled that in, so I'll click login. Um, this is running 1.4.2, so it's the, one of the latest um, release builds, which is pretty good. Uh, where's my mouse? There we go. Click. There we go. It takes a little while, because it's a bit sluggish, but... Can't connect because I'm offline, that's okay. Run. So we get updated, done loading. It From now, at the moment, it should be, it goes black and then it stays black. That's because um, the rendering OpenGL doesn't work. As I mentioned earlier, it's um, not optimized for ARM devices. Um, but other than that, that's what you get, a blue, black screen. I'm working on a fix. Um, however, I'm not 100% sure if there will it will work. I might have to contact the developers. But I'll show you what looks on the console if you guys are interested to see what the problem is. Um, let me just alt tab it. Hang on a sec. That's the kernel thing. Ah. Okay, searching for signals. Perfect. Okay. Um, okay, that gives me the black screen. I'll just have to tab it across. Terminal, cue box, terminal. There we go. So we've got our update error. There and down underneath, we can't log in. That's okay because it's offline. And there you go. Exception in thread 4. Can't load the library. So that would, I would say lib, legacy window, Java, GL, or something. You can see that Minecraft does boot up. See all the at, all that. So as a result, um, I mean... From 1 to 10 at the moment, oh, I would say 6. It just needs to get that library sorted and some other little loose ends fixed. And then, well, it'll be um, good to go. 
Um, but other than that, this is just an example of what the cube box can do. Um, like, I was, like I said earlier in this video, that the cube boxes are available on Coven's domain. The link is in the video description, so feel free to check it out. Um, there's a, we've got our own store, and if you're inside Australia, we'll ship Q boxes to you um, as soon as they've come in stock. Because yeah, um, our stockists are having a few issues with customs and whatnot. But um, yeah, so there you go. Um, Minecraft running on a Q box, and just for argument's sake, if you're wanting to know exactly what. Um, exactly wanting to know what hardware is in the cue box and I'll just get out of this okay that takes me back to that um, yeah <laughs> need more hands than two <laughs> to be honest alt f4 <clears throat> okay that takes me back to the screen yeah the u the interface is pretty there but Got to use what I got to use. Um, system. Yeah, it is laggy because it's not optimized for the Qbox's GPU. There you go. Um, Ubuntu 10.04. Um, one gig of RAM, but that's a little bit allocated for the video buffer, which runs the HDMI. Um, I've got. Yeah, I'm quite surprised it actually works. And there's the uh, you know processes stuff. And there you go. It's got it's only a single core CPU, so I know a lot of you will be scoffing and oh, I've got a dual core, I've got a quad core, I'm chipping my phone. <laughs> but anyway, um, look. It's not the power best powerful powerful system. It doesn't it pack it packs a punch, but I mean, for what it's designed for, it's it's pretty good. And it even does 1080p video encoding and decoding. So you can't get better than that, can you? Um, there's the memory. There's all that and swap. I don't have anything enabled, but it uses it's using 25% of its uh, located uh, memory. So, summing up, Minecraft does boot, but it does not, um, you can't play it, unfortunately, because I was hoping to get, let you guys, um, have, well, show you the guys of, um, doing the Minecraft on the cube box, but, um, once this section is all sort, once all this is sorted, um, I'll do up another video, and, yeah, we'll go from there. Um, like I said, the boxes will be available in the store sometime soon. Um, Raspberry Pi server, if you want to ever turn your Raspberry Pi into a server, that's also in the store for a small fee. Um, and it also comes on a really nice, fast SD card, so it makes your Raspberry Pi scream. Um, but other than that, that's just pretty much all the goodies, and yeah. Nothing else to say, no. Okay. Well, this is Coben's Domain. Well, Coben, Coben's Domain, I should say. And I'll catch you later.